Okay, when we've got a stone that we need to send to our cutter, uh, there's a couple steps that we do uh, to kind of streamline the process. Uh, the first thing is that we would actually measure the actual size of the stone. Um, so once we've got those real measurements, we'll put those in here for this, the size of the stone. So let's say it was 54 and 3 eighths, and maybe 20 and a half for the top. So we'll hit enter. Now we've got that sized correctly, so when we lay this, the stencil on the stone, it's going to match up. The next thing that we do is using the knife tool, which is the second tool down um, in this section here. And make sure that the leave is one object and auto close on cut are not selected. You don't want those to be selected. And then we'll just go down to just above the joint line and make a cut there. Do it on the opposite side as well. And then we'll make two cuts along the top of the serp here. Once that's done, grabbing the pick tool, we can select these two corner pieces and hit delete on the keyboard and then they will uh, be deleted. Once that's done, we can then select the die We'll left and right click on the no fill to get rid of all the fill and then we will right click on black and that will give us just a, a black hairline outline so that we can send it to the cutter. So once that's done we'll just uh, send it to our cutter depending on the cutter you know that will be a little bit different but uh, once it's in the cutting software you can see that it's ready to go. Uh, the good thing about doing it this way is that we, because we've taken away the the outline of the stone. Uh, after this is cut, when we cut it off the roll, all we would have to do is, you know, cut maybe uh, half an inch or so away from the joint here. Do the same thing over here. Just make a straight cut. And now, when we lay down this the stencil on the stone, we're just going to line it up with the joint. And then this top mark is just giving us a reference for making sure the stencil is aligned correctly to the top of the stone as well. So that way we are able to line up the stencil um, as long as we start at one corner here. Since we sized the stone already, it's going to uh, be the correct size and centered on the, the stone the way that we want it to be. So we just make sure that the joint follows the joint of the stone and double check and make sure that this top line matches up with the top. And then you'll have a little bit of stencil on all the edges for overspray so you don't have to worry about uh, patching.